In addition to Otis, uh, behind us here we have Sam Hardiman. He's a reporter for the Commercial Appeal, and Reverend Ken Whalem, Kenneth Whalem, with New Olivet Worship Center. So let's start with a question about the uh, uh, the sports complex. Is that worth the money, et cetera, et cetera? Sam, you broke this story for the Commercial Appeal. Uh, Seven hundred million dollars is a lot of change, but they're trying to convince taxpayers it's not exactly coming from your property taxes necessarily. Right, Richard, uh, you know, a big part of the mayor's ask is he's asking for $350 million in cash from the state of Tennessee, uh, which would go a long way to funding these four stadium projects. And those that would be cash from state taxpayers in general, not just Memphis taxpayers. That's the way that the city would like to see it. They would like to see just cash. They don't really want bonding capacity because you have to pay bonds back. Cash in hand is not swiping the state's credit card which is what the Titans are doing with the $500 million in bonding capacity they got. Um, one of the key distinctions that I would like to point out is the um, a big part of the renovations for FedEx Forum would essentially be paid with the revenue source that currently pays the FedEx Forum's debt, essentially. What the city is asking for the state is to extend the sales tax rebate and the car rental tax, as well as raise the hotel and motel tax in Shelby County. And all of that would essentially help pay for the FedEx Forum project it would just be extending an existing tax burden in the case of the sales tax rebate that pays the FedEx forms debt from when it expires, I think, which is at the end of the bonds for the current forum, and it would extend it all the way to 2053. So in a way, it would just only be foregoing the forum's tax revenue, not other revenue the city gets. Uh, presumably, uh, FedEx Forum and that renovation would take up the most money, but we're also con uh, looking at a significant amount of money for redoing the Liberty Stadium, for uh, tearing down the Mid-South Coliseum and building a new soccer complex that would be housed the 901 FC, and also giving a facelift to uh, AutoZone Park. Yet, were you curious at all, Sam, as to why the mayor was unwilling to break down? He, he can give us a number of $684 million, but can't tell us how it's going to be split up among those four projects. Uh, they must have a pretty good idea how much is going to go, go or be needed for each of those projects. Uh, I would think they have a very good idea. At the same time, the Grizzlies have not shown them, I think, the plans for a renovated form yet. So that's going to limit what they're going to know on, say, the entire budget ask for a renovated FedEx <coughs> form. But I also, and this is just my sort of inference as a reporter and, you know, in the interview with the mayor that I'm not wanting to break it out, is I think that the city doesn't want um, it to be sort of parsed and like we are right now, essentially saying which one is most important. And so by lumping them all together, it's harder to divide them, so to speak, and, and make one and then put one in front of the other. Well, okay, uh, Otis, I still think the public has a right to know how that's <laughs> oh, yeah. going to happen. Absolutely. So I mean, we, we should know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What are your thoughts about the overall proposal and then this notion that, as we mentioned in the introduction there, mm -hmm. that people are complaining we can always find a way to focus when it comes to sports projects like this, but when it comes to education and addressing poverty and other mm -hmm. issues, uh, we just can't seem to find the energy to do it. Well, and I certainly understand that. I mean, that that's brought up almost every time we have major projects in this community. It was brought up when we were talking about building FedEx Forum. There were a lot of people who were saying, you don't even have air conditionings in all the schools, so why are you doing this? I understand all of that, uh, but let's also remember that sports uh, is an economic driver for the city. Uh, and we've been talking for years about uh, making changes and beautifying and updating and redeveloping the old Mid-South Fairgrounds. Uh, and we've also been talking and wringing our hands about the eyesore that is the Mid-South Coliseum. So I think this is an opportunity to uh, address all those issues, deal with the blight with the Coliseum, um, make the uh, old fairgrounds more user-friendly, and create some economic development here as well. And so I think that this is definitely worth looking at. Yes, this is a lot of money. Uh, but this is money that will benefit the entire community in ways that we're just not thinking about right now. Well, now, Otis, you called the Mid South Coliseum an eyesore. Reverend Whalem, you and I both know <laughs> there's a fan base <laughs> of, for the Mid South Coliseum. <laughs> now, I agree, it's an ugly building, but there are a lot of people who have some very good memories uh, from their childhoods. I've got, I've got and very good memories, yeah. <laughs> and they don't want to see this thing torn down, but it looks like it is going to meet the wrecking ball. As the mayor said, he addressed that actual question uh, earlier this week. Let's uh, show that soundbite first and then we'll get your reaction. We have opened that uh, facility for seven years to anyone who look, wants to look at it. No one, 
no one, absolutely no one, has come up with a way to financially make that work. You heard him. Nobody wants anything to do with the building, and I can't say I blame them. Well, yeah, everybody's got great ideas, but nobody wants to step up and pony up the money. I have no problem with the proposal from the mayor. You can turn it into a soccer field. You can turn it into whatever you want to turn it into. But who's going to provide security for the people driving through Orange Mound to get to the soccer game? Are people going to helicopter in? <laughs> have you seen the neighborhood around the Liberty Bowl, the Liberty Land area? Have you seen it? Have you driven through there lately? Would you walk, would you allow your daughter to walk from uh, where our church used to be on Southern Avenue to the soccer, to the new soccer stadium? We need to stop playing, Richard. And I'm not gonna blame uh, the mayor. I'm not gonna blame the business community. We've got black elected officials who've been being elected in Orange Mound and everywhere else for tens of years, for decades. And nothing has been done to improve the communities around the Liberty Bowl or around the stadium. I'm not mad at the business community. Yeah, tear it down, build a soccer stadium, but who's going to provide security around it? Well, let me address that now. Uh, with all due respect, um, we have uh, football games at Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium right now. The Tigers play there. The Southern Heritage Classic is there. Uh, there are people who come out there without a, a lot of worry about um, uh, uh, safety uh, to enjoy college football games. So I, I just don't think that this is the reason to, 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 to be cautious about this. Um, okay, let's well, have I wouldn't, let's I wouldn't have be caught, understand me, understand me. I'm not opposing the new construction. I'm not opposing tearing down the old Coliseum. What I'm saying is somebody better be as excited and as ready to spend money on the neighborhood and on the children and on the crime in the neighborhood as they are on uh, beautifying that area, uh, Otis. Well, I just think that, okay, but uh, let's, let's deal with that even if we didn't have anything out there. We still need to address the crime issues and we need to address uh, the juvenile uh, uh, crime issues. So I just think that we are mixing two things here. Uh, let's, dress, let's address our crime, but uh, I don't think we ought to be tying that to whether we should uh, reconvert and reconfigure the uh, the Coliseum into something that I think looks pretty good on those renderings. That's all I'm saying. I, I don't think we ought to tie it together either. I'm just saying if you're going to helicopter everybody in for safety, that's great. But if not, when you get through doing a new soccer field, somebody better address the community. That's all I'm saying, Otis. Okay. All right, Sam, has the security issue come up in any of the conversations as you've covered this story, uh, parking concerns and this kind of thing? Uh, parking concerns have definitely come up. I, I haven't heard security, uh, you know, uh, you know, I've, I've been to games at, you know, Liberty, uh, Simmons Bank, Liberty Stadium. I keep wanting to call it the Liberty Bowl, and I think I do the city communications <laughs> will yell at me if I do it. Hopefully they don't see this. Um, but what has come up is definitely parking. The city actually last week um, low-key dropped a contract on their uh, contract page that was they paid a consultant about I believe two hundred thousand dollars to do a parking study um, for the uh, Liberty Park or the old Mid South Fairgrounds and so I would imagine after particularly after the city acquired the old Coca Cola bottling plant um, right there on Southern that you know there's going to be something more that comes there because if you have a soccer stadium and a you know, hopefully what the city hopes is a power five football stadium, surface parking in that area may not be enough. That's just the theory I have. We'll <laughs> see what that parking study has to say. And there's also a hotel plan for the site too. Yeah, yes. yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have time for my solution, so maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Reverend. Well, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about another big issue that was we've been talking about all this week, and that is early voting. And uh, a fairly low turnout. We'll address that, reasons behind it when we come back.